honestly, the first thing I thought about <laughs> when I saw my face was Rocky. And I remember I'm a Rocky aficionado. Like, I love the Rocky series. Every fucking film I've seen at least five times. The first one I've seen probably about 70 times. Not kidding. That's how many times I've seen Rocky. And so <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, and I was, a, you know, I'm in a boxing fan my whole life, too. And I was like, nobody's face fucking, or very rarely does a face look that fucked up after a fight, right? So I was like, this is just ridiculous, like Rocky's eyes. But my eyes, like, they literally, they had some of that feel right after. Like, they were that big. And I was like, it was crazy. I guess some people want me to talk about what happened. I mean, basically what happened was I was out having fun, partying here in Portugal. And I talked about this on Twitter already. And I know some people had fun with me saying that I chased them, that I chased somebody down. That my big ass would chase anybody down is pretty funny. Like, I mean, I can understand that, but I, what? I, well, I'll explain here in a second, basically. So I was sitting. Of course, you know, I got you know, my memory is a little fuzzy as well. Uh, and also, I'm not gonna go into every single thing because, like, it's actually like an open fucking you know criminal investigation uh, and all that stuff too. So, like, you know. You have to be reasonable, but uh, I was I was sitting there on the ground after you know a night out, and uh, my friend Sergio, who we we did an interview on the Dick Show just the night before, he was right there, but he was separated. I just like sat down for a sec. Well, somebody came up and grabbed my man purse, what have you, the Armani bag that I had, and I was like, of course I'm slow as fuck. So, so I jumped up and I said, hey, somebody stop that guy. Like, he's got my, thank God he didn't have my passport, by the way, because I didn't bring it with me. <laughs> but I jumped up and I said, I said, hey, somebody stop, somebody stop that guy. What the fuck? Of course, nobody stopped him. So I ran and then ran down the corner. Hold on, I'll finish this in a second. Night Nation Review sent $3. Glad you're okay, Ralph. That was a pretty intense photo, man. Didn't look like that was fun at all. No, Hope they catch the bastards. It wasn't fun at all. Um, so then, so then I ran around the corner, and I don't. I mean, in in my view, and you know, you know, it'll be whatever litigated. I don't even know. Whatever, it's crazy over here. But I got basically. I ran around the corner. There were some more of his compatriots. You know, they say they weren't whatever. Uh, and then I ended up having to fight two or three of those guys. Uh, at once. Now, there was a fourth guy, but he was kind of like occupying my other friend once he came up. So it's like, I guess it was two or three to be fair. Xin Chen 256B sent $3. Everybody wants to hear about the drama, Ralph. Also, talk about how my Bengals beat your Chiefs. Oh my I God. win. I win. Do you know? Bengals Super Bowl. <laughs> Ching Chang Bing Bang win one. I definitely sat up and watched that game. And I didn't start watching it until the second quarter. And it was like 21-3. I want to say it was 21-10 maybe. Going into halftime. And the Chiefs were about to score a touchdown and just blow the game out. And they ended up getting zero points. And I was like, oh, okay. This is like a classic Andy Reid fuck up here. You know, what in the fuck is going on? Like, how do you get zero points here? How do you even let that happen? Of course, they let it happen, and then they chucked the rest of the game away. But anyway, so anyway, I ran around the corner. I didn't physically chase this guy down. I mean, I think we all know that I'm not chasing anybody, <laughs> like catching someone. Uh, but I caught up to his other homies, uh, and then basically I got caught an ass whooping uh, is what I caught. Uh, and then I was also, you know, I mean, I was drunk, let's be honest. And so, like, they knocked me down a couple times, and then I, like, kept getting back up, and I was just getting fucking clocked, basically. Uh, and then, finally, I covered up with my elbows, because I was, I was getting my ass whooped, dude. Like, I mean, you know, there's no shame in taking an ass whooping, honestly, if you're, you know, if you're some old dude who's scared to leave his house because he might catch a cold and die, you know, in 20 minutes. I mean, you know, some people live their life like a coward, Um you know, should I put myself in that situation? Maybe not, but it's like, what, I'm going to be a bitch, never leave my house, I'm going to change my name, uh, and uh, I'm going to fucking, I'm going to fucking run from everything I've ever done. No, I'm not. So, you know, uh, definitely did catch an ass with Anonymous sure. sent $3, take the glasses off. No, I'm not going to take them off. 
Um, if you pay me a hundred dollars, I'll take them off. But uh, no, three dollars definitely not enough for that. Okay, now let's see here. Third culture, thank you, sir. I appreciate the uh, the rocket shuckle here over on uh, <laughs> over on entropy. Uh, Runamucker says, "Good to have you back, man. Cannot abort. Thank you very kindly for that thin red line." Appreciate you as well earlier. Let's see. I'm looking through. I think Entropy. Entropy is not working for me, actually. What the fuck? Well, I'll try that again. I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, okay. Hold on. We'll see. I'll keep working on that. Oh, wow. I think it did. Oh, man. Fun stuff. Fun technical issues. Then I'm on the road, so I played the wrong song at the beginning. Everybody's like, Ralph's Anonymous up. sent hundred dollars. <laughs> Take the glasses off fat. Okay, you know what? There you go. I said I would do it if you paid me a hundred dollars. There it is. So. But I'm going to put it right back on, though. So. <laughs> There you go. I'm a man of my word. <laughs> I'm a man of my word, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I can't laugh that loud because I'm going to get this person in trouble. <clears throat> but, yeah. You know what? They did give me a hundred right away. I can take it off for a couple more minutes. But uh, yeah, I got fucked up. I mean, it is what it is, right? You can't really see, but my right eye, wait, no, it's this one, is like red. You can't really see it that well. But yeah, I mean, I got fucked up. There's no doubt. Honestly, this looks better to me, though, than what it looked like the other day. Like when my shit was so swollen, I couldn't see. That's when it's really fucked up, dude. Like, when it's black and blue, it's getting better, honestly. So it's like when when it starts looking like this, that's a good that's a good way to be. So um, actually, tomorrow name their ethnicity. I won't go into all that. <sighs> Homo trolley has sent three dollars as an Irishman. I feel shame for my country's lack of a unique dish. I mean, look at Italy with their pasta and pizza. Portugal has peri peri sauce. The French have omelets and fancy bread. And I think we all know how the good Germans are with ovens. <laughs> okay. I don't know about their oven work. I, I'm not familiar, but I, <laughs> I've heard some things, but I, anyway, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, I definitely got, I definitely got an ass whooping. Um, I guess, you know, it's not, I mean, I guess it's a big deal for sure. And it's funny, but it's like, I've gotten ass whoopings before, like, I don't know where I'm from. If you don't go out and get fucked up, get ass up in your bitch, honestly. Like. Wally sent $5 in this time of adversity and tribulation. Never forget that you can't fucking abort that that goddamn that Royal Rumble was awful Saturday. Oh, I mean, holy shit, it was bad. Don't get me into that, please. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.